Good morning, everybody. Uh, I, uh, it's a very honor to me to introduce the, this like a great uh, case and the, this is like a very honorable the, Mr. Gerard. And uh, this is the, uh, firstly, this is the retrial case. The firstly, one uh, procedure was done in about several months ago in another hospital. Uh, the operator just used the anti red wire, but unfortunately failed. So the patient is the a 58 year old gentleman and with the very stable angina. So he don't have the, any the, uh, higher risk, of the, uh, risk factor or the also. Next one. Next one. Uh, another the functional study or the, another echocardiogram was not done in our hospital. So you can see the basal angiogram. Do we have? Yeah. Our own angio now. Okay, yeah, the baseline angiogram showed the totally occult segment in middle portion of the right coronary, and there were several collateral, uh, interventional collateral, but the uh, root was not uh, clear to uh, confer the success, so I think the, uh, we also do, we can use the sure, anterior the first. So, Mr. Gerard, please introduce So, the please introduce okay, the team okay. and all. Yeah. Mr. Gerard from France, the Dr. Lee, Dr. Young from Korea. Thank you. <laughs> so, it's my pleasure. Uh, I'm from Germany. German, no, <laughs> <laughs> But, you know. Uh, but it's my first time here, so uh, it's, a, it's an impressive hospital. It's an impressive setup. And the case, I think, is well selected because it's a single vessel RCA, RCA CTO and nobody should discuss, I think, surgery. And the patient is symptomatic during the procedure, already had some heavy symptoms. So the, the problem here is, if we go to the next shot, there is no cap. Uh, go back. Back, back, back. back. Okay. Back. In the breakfast session this morning, I presented this case, but uh, probably not all of you were there. So the features of this uh, case are shown basically here. And it's a uh, no cap, so JCTO one point. It has been tried, another point. It's uh, cer certainly longer than. Uh, 20 millimeters, about 30, 35, three points, so JCTO score three. Not much calcium. There are some collaterals which supply the big right coronary, but as you saw in, in the previous shot, in the, it's not very inviting. Well, I, uh, they give options, I think, especially the epicardial connection from the circ. The PL branch is, for me, the most inviting. There might be a distal septal. This is the setup, and uh, maybe <laughs> you... Of course, we have already done a little bit of work, but uh, whatever you think, uh, I think uh, Dr. Asakura is one of the chairs. What is the approach here, the primary approach? Mm, it's a very difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, there are several connections, but uh, they are not promising. I, but, we can't uh, hear. Do you hear? Yeah, yeah, I, I can hear. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, we will fix. Okay. Oh, sorry, I lost the, e the <laughs> earpiece. Can you hear? Yeah. yeah. So but, what do you uh, think? Occlusion length is not so long, uh, so uh, I'd like to start with an integrator first. And then uh, I'm looking forward to such a uh, collateral. Uh, finally, uh, ADR is one of the options in this mm -hmm. case. So how would you start the integrate? Yes. With the IVUS guided? Uh, yes, of course, uh, in order to identify the entry of the CTO. Okay. IVUS. 
So this, so, uh, Dr. Warner, this was a failed, previously failed case, right? Yes. yes. So, so when was the first attempt um, performed? Several months ago. So exactly, months ago. four months ago. Four months, four ago. months ago. Yeah. Four months ago, okay. Yeah. Do you think that's sufficient to, uh, don't worry about that previous? Uh, False procedure? channel? Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I, I think it's uh, long enough and, and the angel looks identical to the initial angel of the old uh, previous angel. So I don't think there was some severe dissection. They went with the wire, they realized the wire is uh, outside, they modified a little bit but they didn't do any dilatation. So that was a very good first case, uh, first attempt, I yeah, think. Yeah. So, as you already see, we advance here the Boston uh, IVUS, and we can demonstrate the IVUS. Yes. Can you show? Sure. Yes. This is the IVUS. Can you see? Yeah. IVUS from the IV branch. We put the IVUS into the IV branch to see the opening of the RCA CTO. The, here is the proximal RCO. RCA. Yeah, if, if you go back, go back there, at the uh, here. transition zone. Please show. Is there a... Yeah. Seems to be a little bit of a, a notch which we can't see angiographically. Yeah? There are a small channel yes. uh, entering there. So which wire is your first choice then, <laughs> Dr. Asakura here? Mm, most of the time, I start with an uh, XTR. XTR. Okay. And then uh, I move to the Gaia family or uh, Miracle 3 or UB3. Next, Next uh, Fluoro. So, Campus, what would be your first choice? you have other options? There's no less calcium in the cap, you know? Yeah, I think uh, we can try with also with XTR uh, short damp, and if this doesn't work, uh, step up to Gaia second. Mm. Okay, you see here uh, we work with seven French from the femoral. Uh, a fine cross is positioned there, and my first choice was an XT plane. So, but the XT easily went forward here. And the IVUS examination then, we did this under live uh, IVUS. Yes, and so this is the IVUS. You can see from the manual prepare here. So, yeah, go forward and backward, yeah. yeah. It seems to enter right in the middle yeah. where this a uh, small notch was. And the feeling was, as you see on the fluoro now, it went very easily forward, mm. but I couldn't follow with a microcatheter. So that's uh, where we are right now. Uh, I removed the IVUS because there was some entanglement with the IVUS. Uh, so actually, we kind of uh, destroyed the wire for the IVUS. And I couldn't advance the fine cross. You see, I tried the microcatheter, uh, the guiding catheter is a little bit unstable. So we did an angel. And we are clearly in the vessel structure, but too much above. Mm -hmm. But probably there is a lot of plaque. Yeah. This doesn't necessarily mean we are subintimal, but we could be in a huge amount of plaque. Cheryl, so what is the next stop? Good, good yeah. indication for you for uh, going uh, with a parallel now, uh, with a wire with more tip load, or what do you think? Yeah, if I could have advanced the microcatheter, I would have changed to a different wire. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't advance the microcatheter, so I think this is a good target. And I don't know about uh, Dr. Asakura, is he, has he turned right? completely to ADR now, or do we still do parallel wiring in Japan? I prefer to 
do parallel wire technique. Okay. <laughs> so that's where we are here right now. We have removed the fine cross. M may I ask one question, Dr. Asakura? I mean, now we have the IVAS finding. So would you go with your, uh, in, when you do parallel now, with a dual lumen microcatheter to into the proximal cap because the puncture was somehow correct? Or would you go with a second microcatheter completely parallel? So would you use dual lumen or not? Uh, actually, I was is one of the options uh, at this time. But uh, firstly, uh, I'd like to do parallel wire technique without IVAS. But with dual lumen or not? Dual lumen microcatheter to preserve the Oops. right uh, puncture yes, on the ostium? I okay. totally agree okay. with Dr. Uh, Wana. Uh, this patient has a lot of plug burden. So I think uh, this microcatheter within the two lumen, in the plug. Okay. So here we have the Sasuke, and I have a Gaia too. And I know that, of course, I have to turn a little bit down and left. Let's see, it's uh, overlapping the course of the previous wire. At one point, I need to go down and left. So the, the, it doesn't the, do that. The thing is that in RAO, you could see a wire deviation to, towards the myocardium side. So probably in RAO, it's uh, easier to puncture straight downwards. Um, yeah, this is kind of uh, too far out. Uh, do an injection. Injection, left side. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Okay, goes too uh, far. Charles, okay, I think that let's, uh, let's our, go to Ario. Ario would help Ario. you a little bit more here for the proximal puncture, where the XT went too much to the right side. Probably here you could uh, puncture a little bit more to the left side on the entry. Yeah. Uh, my, com my preferred second wire actually is uh, a confianza type wire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, as we started here with the field XT, I thought because everything is very soft, I can u utilize the quality of the Gaia. But go back. Okay. I have no option Hello. to change the puncture point here. I'm still always in the same track, maybe here. I can steer a little bit down. Yeah, that's a different, a little bit different, not much. St uh, inject. Okay, left side? Yes, left side always. Oh, we're getting close here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I'll make a film. Okay, film. Left side? Yeah. Looks good. Great. Yeah. Great. Are you? There's always the second view. A little bit more cranial, maybe. Cranial? I know, wrong. Call, Call, Call is better. Okay, shot. Okay, almost, but not good enough. So I can either leave this, which is actually my choice, mm -hmm. and uh, just switch uh, from the, uh, get the Sasuke on the Gaia and then use a confianza type. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let okay. me just uh, hold this. So I think this wire is in a better position than the wire before. So we still have our trapping balloon in place. We don't spend too much time on the parallel wiring, but I think it's always worth because 
if we go, cool. if we avoid going retrograde, cool. we yeah. save some time. So let's see whether my wire is uh, a deflate. I want to check where is my balloon. Balloons, Here is yeah. it. Okay. Go. Inflate. Ten, twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay. The XT already went into the wrong <coughs> in the side branch. Okay. So everybody knows the dual loom catheters, I guess. So we need not to confuse the whole thing. Okay. Dr. Warner? Yeah? Uh, I'm Dr. Rath from Korea University. You remember me at the uh, Yes, University. of course, yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, for the CRT last time. Yes, uh, the XTA is actually available in Korea. We are using either XTA or the XTR. So, uh, you have any particular reason to choose the 0 0.8 gram conventional XT for this initial wiring. And second one is that maybe this is an angulated portion. Uh, many operators will afraid of making further direction with the confianza because they tend to go in straight away. The short segment redirection will be okay, but uh, personally I also feel uh, Miracle series, uh, once we fail by Gaia series, it's better to make a repuncture from first to two. So this two point, what, what is your idea for? Okay. Well, uh, uh, the XT is just my, my home wire. So I'm f most familiar with the XT. Okay. And uh, I don't see much difference between XTA. So this is our guy. Yeah, guy a second. Yeah. And this yeah. is the XT. Yeah. Mark the XT maybe with the wire. Okay. So now we So um, I in many many attempts for parallel wiring I found the combination of Gaia and Confienza the most promising. No, we Sasuke, want to Sasuke. put the Sasuke. Yeah, Sasuke again. Uh, I think the vessel straightens with the Gaia more th than with the XT because of the tip strength. And with a straightened vessel, you have better options. Actually, the stronger the wire, the better the torque control. Even with the old fashioned Confianzas. You have good torque control as long as it doesn't go around a corner. If it's rather straight like here, I think we have a good option uh, to make this additional correction. We'll see whether I'm right or not. And if I'm wrong, uh, we will switch to retrograde. For the real time I was guided wiring, not, you not, 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 uh, still prefer seven mm -hmm. guiding not instead of wave French? No. Mm. Uh, sorry, I didn't, uh, yeah, so I didn't get the, that. The, you used the fine crest because of the uh, real time I was guided. Yeah. Uh, the seven French will not accept okay. more bigger micro catheter. Yes, yes. So, uh, how about some are to prefer to use the A French guiding? To, for the real time, because once you're crossing the wire, the micro catheter support, support with the fine cross may be limited. Yes, I, I agree, but um, I have very good experience, I think, with the uh, combination of this. Uh, let's remove actually the, the XT. XT, XT. XT. Yeah. Okay. Your arguments are all correct, yes, but um, I'm not so familiar, especially Compute. smaller persons with eight French guides. Conquest. Conquest 12, Conquest. Conquest 12 please. 12? 12. 12. Okay, uh, Dr. Journal, um, yeah. uh, take your time. We'll just move on to the next room and come back. If you wait half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, otherwise, we have oh. to switch to retrograde, maybe. So, okay. I, I think we should look the parallel wire for two minutes. Huh? Is right. it possible? Yeah. And then uh, there is a lot of time for the other lab. The only question I have, uh, Cheryl, now is in this projection, you um, 
you had you had the feeling that you're in. So when you do use the parallel, are you going? I need to go to the other. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So once you fail to integrate, I, I felt that there's a promising retroid route from the distal circumflex. Yes, yes. Yeah, so That's there's my a, primary Yeah, it looks target. more straight and the natural course. Maybe that can be a good source for the bidirectional. Yes, I fully agree. Why is it coming? Why is it coming? Yeah. That's nice because uh, you know that obviously that my eyesight is getting <laughs> bad with age <laughs> it's good to okay the Sasuke actually doesn't make the I, I think I have to okay uh, I will do something different I need to dilate the proximal part uh -huh. uh, I think so uh, leave us alone I'll <laughs> I'll just dilate the proximal part because otherwise I lose the beauty of the Sasuke guidance if I have to repuncture every time. So, so we will fluor store everything, please. Yes, okay. okay. So let me get what is your smallest balloon? Smallest uh, one four, one four, okay, one zero, uh, one four, one zero. Take your time zero. and we'll go, uh, we'll be there uh, just a moment. Okay. So, uh, We'll go to the next room where Dr. Sung Hwan Lee and Chang Hun Lee is uh, doing another case. Okay, Dr. Sung Hwan Lee, yeah. you're online. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah. Uh, I wanted to introduce my team. My fantastic team is the Chang Hun Lee. Dr. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Dr. So. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Could you introduce our case? Yes, I introduced my case. A uh, 56 year old man was admitted for a purchase pain two months ago. Uh, following uh, coronary angiogram showed CT origin in mid RCA and attempt to PCI at mid RCA CTO in another hospital, but failed. Next. Next. Can you show us uh, uh, previous? Uh, uh, attempt to PCI on other hospitals. So I, I don't know exactly which wire, which catheter was used in the previous attempt. As you can see, this is the final uh, one month ago. The population developed and then maybe finished. Before, could you show the another one, the wiring? Wire, before the, before the population. Wiring. Yeah. So, meticulous exam of the previous failure mode is very important to, to decide the strategy. <laughs> so in this case, is, as you can see, the wire is going to the alveolar branch maybe, and then the operator is based on the, the alveolar branch wire, attack the distal RCA, in integrate only, not a, 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 a to the retro approach. So, would you, next, please. Next. 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 Yes. Could you show the wiring? Maybe previous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, previous, previous. Two wiring is attempt then then suddenly we don't know, but there is some, a lot of... Uh, so anyway, the problems. previous attempt is uh, entered the approach with the... I think no, the maybe the procedure time okay. is so long, this kind of situation. Maybe the previous attempt maybe reached this type of problem, however, I don't know uh, what's going on in, at that time. So this is maybe the most good thing to succeed. succeed. So today we check the baseline angiography. Maybe baseline for you say. And good collateral from the OM branch and uh, maybe the uh, smoky septal branch to distal RCA. Next. There is some connection in septal branch. Okay. 
So we check the tip angiography. Like the next. Yeah, this, this is array of view. Previous is array of view. So we to try found found out the proximal care, which point is best to attack in proximal care. So previous, previous. So let's discuss. Uh, what should we do? <laughs> so um, considering the uh, events that happened at the previous um, uh, PCI where there was lots of uh, the, the wire went into a uh, wrong place. Uh, there was a perforation after ballooning. So it happened uh, just one month ago. So considering yeah, that, yes, so considering that um, uh, will you um, make those uh, things uh, change your strategy, the first strategy, Dr. Uh, La or Dr. Sakura? Is, is it integrate first uh, okay for this case? Um, but in the previous PCI, uh, the wire uh, um, goes into the successfully, so I'd like to start with an integrated approach as well. The one month duration uh, something uh, can be dangerous with the uh, repeat uh, integrate. However, uh, if you have clear information uh, where to where the previous wire course may not uh, so difficult. However, with the soft wire not to injure the, the same dissected area. You may try the short attempt with the integrated approach similarly to previous wire course, but if you fail, then it's definitely short attempt, I will switch it to the retrade primarily. And the out of retraded all the channels, a safe way is to uh, select yeah. one of the step type course that will be more safe, even looks mm -hmm. tiny. So could you see the proximal cap clearly? The slow motion you can identify between two different views to uh, where to navigate. Uh -huh. So recently my visual acuity decreased, so I cannot see exactly. So <laughs> anyway, the, the around the side branch, you can see some stump-like projection. You can see slow motion, please. Slow, 천천히. Is it possible? Okay. Yeah, 천천히. Mm -hmm. There appears to be. There appears to be have a channel, so yeah. careful observation. Maybe uh, first option, maybe XTR or. Mm. Okay. So you can. Oh. Hey, here. Mm. You can see. <laughs> yeah, we can. So maybe side branch is arising the distal tip area. So I wanted to. That is my target. So as you, as you mentioned, the previous failure sometimes very helpful to wiring. Sometimes the connection between the subintimate space or dissection plane. So, however, in this case, is, there is no definite co connection between the RCA and the collateral flow. So there's a dense line inside of a previous injured site. That must yeah. be a yeah. high chance of uh, intraluminal course. Why yeah. not try? So, next. next. We started the integrated approach with the field XT. I like field XT. So Corsair and AR1 guiding is selected for strong backup support. The left system is XB 3.5. So quite different because of the previous attempt is Jokin and left is Jokin. And today XB and then AR1 guiding is selected to make strong backup support. So next. 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 So this is uh, uh, some advancement wire. And you can see wire going to side branch. So at this moment, you can decide that maybe double lumen catheter is very helpful to enter the uh, precise proximal cap. How about? So any opinions from the panel uh, using a double lumen catheter or? Just using a one catheter. Yeah. Do you feel any free motion? No. Why yeah. is it going down? So yeah. maybe Why side branch. The uh, course doesn't look so good. Yeah. yeah. Next. Next. 
So you proceed the, the, with the, my team, and then advance wire in the array of you. So multiple projects is very important to, to define the right direction. Next. And a little bit Corsair advance. Next is easily going down. Maybe the previous dissection plane helped the advance. Next. Next. So, angiography is maybe uh, RCA wire is the going yes. to the. So, so it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's at least in the right mm -hmm. way in the vessel. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It, at, at this time, you can use a double lumen catheter mm -hmm. uh, if, you, if you opt to. Mm -hmm. So, if the wire is in, in, in a different vessel, yeah. then uh, it's better to uh, redirect the wire and put it in the right, right vessel. Yeah, next please. Yes. So I advance more. And next. Next. I advance micro catheter, maybe right direction. Okay, next. And uh, RF view is. Uh, we changed the wire because of the, there is some deflection to fill the XT. So maybe harder than wire tip load. So at this moment, we change Gaia 1, maybe Gaia 2 work. So RA projection is showed the right direction of the distal RCA. Next. Next. And this moment, we check the another projection. As you can see, there is some touching the distal cap. At this moment, we make the direction in the lower portion. Next. And Rotating wire tip and just pushing. Mm -hmm. So there is no resistance. <coughs> Next. So we're checking the compound, the location of wire, and then wire going down. So we wanted to insert a micro catheter. However, there is some resistance in, around the. the distal cap area, the micro catheter cannot negotiate the distal cap area. So we remove the micro catheter. Could you give me the, some comment, our procedure? So uh, the secure the distal wire, and then uh, once course cannot pass, you have to start from the thinnest and the smallest balloon. Yeah. To mm -hmm. This is 1.0 balloon. balloon. Yeah. Yes, start from the smallest. And then you can do the wire exchange to the soft one and finish the further procedure. Okay. Put it on board. Okay. 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 So wire position very important to prevent complication. Okay. 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 Balloon. Yeah, balloon. Balloon. Ten. Ten. Twelve. Twelve. Once finished, the smallest balloon, the tissue friction will be decreased, and the during your balloon inflation to proximally. There's a higher chance of wire shaking and chance of injury to this okay, time. So, uh, should be very 10, 10, careful. 10, 14. Okay, the pull. Careful yeah. the lo location of this start tip of okay, the wire. 10, 12, 10, 12, 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay, the pull. Fourteen. Okay, the pull. Fourteen. So one concern okay, of this case is that we 14. saw a diffuse disease um, at the distal. Fourteen. So it would be very interesting what he would do okay, uh, after the wiring. Hello. At the distal. Okay, the Okay. Uh, sure. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, only with some. Okay, deeper. So, stop, please. Mm -hmm. So, I wanted to insert the large balloon. Good 
만났다 눈도 잘안 보이네. After small b o w e n I routinely do the parallel wire with the soft wire and remove the CT wire. Some operator prefer to use the micro cap. 2.5. 2.5 cap. So I wanted to balloon inflation proximal cap area, not to not to distal cap area. Okay. So always loosening the tissue by small balloon. So always should be careful about why we did the injury. 좋습니다. So usually a failure case is better the approach is first option. Could be first option. Depend on the failure mode. So, however, in this case, I saw exactly the first, uh, second wire is nearly reaching the distal cap area. So, uh, maybe. Uh, so, be careful. Be careful. Okay, balloon, balloon, balloon. 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 Balloon go. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Ten, twelve. Okay. Ten, twelve. Slowly advance, slowly advance, slowly advance. Okay, balloon, balloon. Balloon. Okay. Twelve, fourteen. 어, 블랙. 블랙. 블랙 하고 있었어요. 네. 잠깐만요. 블랙. 했습니다. 블론, 블론, 블론 고. 고. 가이딩 스테빌라 시키고. 네. 최고. 가이딩 스테빌라. 됐어. 기, 기다려, 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 기다려. 네. 네. 블랙 하지 말고. 네, 네. 오케이. 블랙 하지 말고. 오케이. 네. After During one. During the balloon inflation, you can stabilize the guiding. 어. 오케이. 오케이. 블랙. 오케이. Actually, after one millimeter ballooning, uh, I always try to change it with the soft wire. That is the most okay. safest way. And then no difficulties okay, in go. crossing wire through the one go. millimeter balloon size. So, it's better to... Okay, mm. okay. deploy. Slowly, slowly. So, balloon dissection is sometimes make the balloon sliding. Balloon oh. guiding, guiding. Go, go. Mm. Balloon. Trail, go. Okay. 넘어지네. 천천히 천천히. Okay. So step by step, balloon advance is very important. Okay. Go. Go. Guiding, stabilize. Guiding, stabilize, please. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Balloon here. Okay. 여기다가들어갈게요오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이오케이
잠시만요. 선생님. 지금 소변증 해줄게요, 선생님. 네. 조금만 참으세요. 잠깐만. 네. 불러줘, 폴리 불러줘. 네, 알겠습니다. 폴리 했나? 가자. 네, 하고 있어요. 가자. 네, 가이딩 끈 넣고요. 네, 시비 했습니다, 폴리. 네. 가자. 고. 천천히 천천히 네. 오케이. 일단 가시면 돼요. 이게 나오는 자리 주세요. 오케이. 가자. 나 어디 있어요? 가셔도 됩니다. 좀더 좀가. 맞습니다. 네, 좋습니다. 걸음 풀게요. 네. 손 주세요. 천천히. 슬로리 더 베스. 오케이. 네. 알까요? 또 어디 안 나왔죠? 또 들어가 들어가. 슬로리 더 베스. 슬로리. 됐습니다. 뭐 네. 오케이. 됐습니다. 오케이. 체인. 와요. 와요. 팁 앉아 브라피 플리즈. 네. 잠시만요. 음. 이거 빼고 하셔야 된다. 네, 볼로. 볼로 먼저 빼요. 네. Uh, they are going to do the tip and jaw. Um, yeah. can we do do you agree? Tip injection? Yeah. I, I don't do. Yeah, tip injection do do? is always can be I don't uh, do. dangerous. No, I don't think so. Anyway, the flies to the distal uh, prostolateral okay. branch. Uh, I, I I don't see the point. Yeah, the, because the uh, contralateral we if you could okay. confirm Why you? Why you? during injection Sean, any please. sometimes balloon induced dissection you can make dissection further so it's not oh. good to, to do that. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. so okay. this image makes the operator very comfortable but I, I also agree that it's mm. uh, the tip and jaw is yeah. not always needed most will be okay but you have to consider any event during this performance mm. Mm. Balloon dash to go. Yeah. Okay. okay, because um, uh, we already okay. Uh, okay. passed the wire yeah. and there will be a stenting strategy left. Um, we'll just go to uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Warner's room again and then we will come back. Okay. Okay. Okay, Warner, uh, Dr. Warner, you're online again? Yes, okay. So we have not achieved the distal lumen entry. <laughs> Make it short. Uh, I did dilate, and uh, we had some uh, further progress. The wire was is very close. Give me a shot. But then this happens when you are very close. Yeah, you start getting persistent with this maybe failure mode. <laughs> Forward. Uh, yeah, no, back. 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 That looks really very close. But it's, uh, well, it's not in. And uh, so I'm presently in the position where I have two confianzas, mm. one very close, and the other will never get as close as the first one. There is some problem in the passage, and I need to get the incentive to start retrograde, I think. Someone needs to tell me, stop. <laughs> okay. So personally for me, I think uh, if I am tended to make a dissection beyond the PDPA bifurcation, uh, I will not hesitate to switch it to the retrograde because uh, this distal bifurcation is very important. So. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we okay. should achieve the. If you could enter before the bifurcation, maybe, that will be fine, but. No, well, I, w I want to enter at the distal cap. I don't want to do a re entry here. Uh, I was, of course, thinking I'm very close for ADR, but the resistance is extreme. I have to do a lot of dilatation here. So, Gerald, what I think is now at this point. When you start creating probably uh, um, yeah, unnecessary hematoma, so um, and you, you still have probably the possibility also of a septal connection. So probably my choice would be now try to septal connection, and uh, if this doesn't work, uh, maybe go back to the parallel, but uh, uh, before going for the epicardial. But um, um, the, the, the risk of creating a little bit hematoma distally there and then unnecessary long stent length uh, probably uh, is not worth to continue on antiquated yeah. parallel wire. Yeah, well, we need, it's a very diffuse disease. So I think uh, it fits in the, in the context of this morning session with the distal bed. Mm. 
Uh, so, so, so what close. kind of gel, what kind of wire do you use now? Confianza. We have two confianzas. Two confianzas? Yeah, yeah. The Gaia wouldn't work. Maybe I should have done the Gaia next. But uh, you f see that uh, pulling back the wire uh, is creating a lot of tension. So I'm stuck in the plaque. Mm. So this is the last attempt. Check. Tick. No, we are out. Okay, so we leave everything here and go retrograde. That's good decision. Better to start with yeah. it. If I that wire was just uh, near the true lumen, then stingray using a stingray. Yeah, with but energy, uh, what do you think about it's that? It's very tight there. I, I would to have to dilate. Uh, I had hard time to dilate. So get me a caravel and a whisper. Whisper. Whisper wire and whisper, a caravel. Whisper. Caravel 150? Yeah, 150. Check ACT, do we? Yeah, yeah. Let's check ACT before we go red gray. Yeah, that's the uh, risk of uh, getting very close with the parallel wiring, <laughs> then you think, ah, it should work, it should work. It doesn't, not always. Okay. But you know also the, the, the ADR, because you ask it me, um, or uh, is not a 100% solution. So once you already tried the parallel, and then you go additionally to ADR, the likelihood of uh, making a, a good re-entry is uh, very low, especially when you create big spaces there. So therefore, I think uh, uh, once you decide probably for ADR, uh, probably uh, even a little bit before the parallel, where the first Gaia was in a great position, there, if he wanted to, he could uh, probably uh, use the ADR, the, the Stingray balloon for the re-entry. But uh, it was such a nice position where you had a great chance also for the parallel. Okay. But uh, it's not always so easy as we think, yeah? So I think the retrograde would be good. Uh, there are, I, I have the impression that there is also some uh, maybe septal option, maybe. And uh, I know that uh, Gerald is also very good on the epicardial tracking, so, uh, so therefore... Uh, Let's go to Ario, please. Ario. Oh, sorry. Oh. But it's always the question, how long should we persist on one strategy, isn't it, before we change? I mean, <laughs> at once the wire before the caravel, yeah. it's always advisable. So let's explore the septals. Septal? Or let, no, if we go there, where, uh, okay, in, in Jeff. In Jeff, touch two. Okay, come on. It wants to guide us towards this first PL. <laughs> okay, I t always follow my wire. Okay, check. So you're going directly for the epicardial connection there. I think this has the best score. Yeah. According okay. to Paul. Carl. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. let's see. At least uh, this isolated. super selective injection is worth to see, really understand the complexity of this connection. Yeah, let's go. Probably, what is the best projection? That's not always... Mm, I think this clear. is quite good. And, uh, Maybe caudal a little bit more. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. This is good and also the, the cranial, uh, which makes it a little bit longer. So... Well, there is basically one bend that has to be negotiated. And uh, maybe it's the... It's not so trivial. The, the Go cranial? Go yes, cranial. exactly. The cranial is, I think, a good one. And there you can see the length a little bit better. And maybe... Okay. Maybe there are two connections, we'll see. There are Give two me a SUO3. SUO3. Store the image, please. Stop. Stop. 
Uh, what I don't understand on the entry here is the distal part of the connection. The entry seems to be very that good, but then it seems uh, to go down a little bit okay. up uh, again. Probably go we can't see the because of the quality. Here it doesn't look uh, like that. Okay. For the lesser injurious chance, it's better to start with so the so three. What what yes. what wire are you using now? Su zero three, as advertised. First, let's go down a little bit further with a. I'm not sure which of these connections I got here. It's probably the distal one, yeah. And probably the more proximal one is the good one. Probably the proximal one, I don't know. Exactly, this distal, I don't understand what's going on there. Additional band or something? Go to the other projection. Let's L see. Look, now the wire moved a little bit, Gerald. Uh, probably okay. you're already in now. Uh, This could be the right one with this with this loop. Yeah. Of course, a loop is a little bit dangerous because yes. you can flip over and make a knot there. Let's wait for maybe the wire takes the course of course we need to be careful especially in an outside lab <laughs> where we don't know doesn't make much progress here um, can we go back uh, to the other projection that we had before no go back back yeah. Back. Okay. Back. 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 Yeah. I'm looking for the road map. Okay. Stop. Back. Ah, a little bit better. Store. Okay. I'm. I'm certainly in this one, and then it should go down a little bit forward. It's always the risk of advancing the caravel too much. Doesn't have more control on the tip distal now. This kind of a very ambiguous distal communication, I think that uh, before wiring, in my case, I would prefer more effort to uh, clearly vi visualization of distal connection in another angle with a more selective injection the, here. But, yeah, but uh, I have, yeah. I have the, the connection here and I have the reference image. The, the problem is here more the, the bend that takes away uh, the forward movement of my wire. Of course, we can do uh, try a selective injection here. Even more. Maybe go down, uh, go cranial here. ACT is? 
305. 15. 15. 15. Yeah. Let's get, uh, give him uh, some 4,000 heparin, please. 4,000. Okay, it goes up, go back. Go back? Yeah. It's very strange here. French. Uh, yeah, this is probably not the it's ideal. wedging? I think it's only wedging, Gerald. It's not destroyed. No, no, it's not those destroyed. But, oh, but it's two uh, torches, this one. It's a yeah. crazy one. But the okay. dist probably distal one is better. Let's try the distal okay. one. Whether it connects, it's not quite clear. Yeah. Otherwise, we go to the septals. Yes, the, uh, seal my, the, the suthers is not crossing easily in the bended portion, coxural area. High chance of uh, making some wind of distal vacation. So it's better to, you, once you attempt in the distal, channel, not easy, then maybe switch it to the septal. Yes, yes. Okay, I think we uh, need some time here. So we'll just move on to Dr. Suwan's knees uh, operating room and then we'll come back. Okay. Okay. Okay, Suwan Lee. Su Suwan Lee, Dr. Lee. Uh, let's. Can you hear me? No. Doctor Lee, Dr. Lee, can, can you, you hear, hear us? Me? Yes. Yeah. Here. Okay. So, um, would you explain the progress? Uh, no progress. <laughs> <laughs> because the patient complained about the boiling sensation, so we removed the uh, urine, <laughs> and then we checked the IVUS. Okay, that so, was the progress. Yeah. yeah. Doctor Kang, could you? No? Can you hear me? Oh, okay. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we put the wire into the PL branch and PDA, and we did the IOPS pullback from the PL branch. And you can see it very distally. It's a green, but it's very small vessel with a size of 2.0. And here is the opening of the PDA, and the vessel becomes a little bit larger, but the disease begins. So I think because the PL branch itself is too small, I recommend to put the stand at the just at the PDA. And here you can see a large plug button, very diffuse disease. It's very long and very diffuse. All segment is true. Yes, you're mm. right. <laughs> Always. There's a picture now, of someone there. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm not done. From here, yes. And you can see the big hematoma from the five to the 10 o'clock, maybe because of the previous, pla previous hematoma on the one month ago procedure. And the wire is, wire and IVUS is in the true rumen, and in the whole range, it looks like that we are in the true rumen. And there is some dissections because of the previous attempt and we're directed here. And the, we and you move to proximally. Okay, for sure. After the branch. And the vessel become, becomes very large to about the 4.0 or more size vessel. And <coughs> we move proximally. Yes, yeah, so a CTO mm -hmm. segment, proximal CTO segment with a large plug burden. And you can see that it's a really diffuse disease in the whole segment of the RCA from far distal to ostium of the RCA. But all the, all the wires and in, in the true room, and, and we just, uh, the wire probably was up to the proximal RCA. We could not see the os because of the, we already saw the 100 millimeter. So which is the most uh, good landing zone this time? Yes, yeah. the most preferred landing zone looks like at the most of the uh, PDA. PDA wire. Okay, Angel. Angel. Wow. 
So is it right that the hema is it is it right that the hematoma uh, developed in the previous one, previous PCI? I hope. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think there will be uh, different thoughts and different strategies for this pa uh, patient because there is absolutely, strictly speaking, there is no absolute clear landing zone at the distal. Mm. So that's so one problem. So which one problem. is the best for the landing zone? And Another uh, problem is that if you want to stent yes. it, I, maybe you have to cover I the hematoma. And I recommend the landing zone at the ostium of the PDA. What's the PDA? Yeah. Because this type to the ostium of the PDA, the vessel is too small. Stent. 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 Could you give me the... How to decide the stand size? Uh, 2.5. Yes, I, I saw the eyebrows. The vessel size was about 2.5. 2.5, sorry. Yes. How about? Very mm. small vessel. So because I recommend to begin with the 2.5 small stand. Which is Maybe you can choose the higher, yeah. uh, uh, one size larger. However, and I was finding it very small. Could you measure the lumen? 2.3. So I wanted to put the 2.5 and the high pressure dilatation. Which one? 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 Well, some some operators won't won't just stent in this case, just just balloon or um, uh, just restore the flow and then wait a little bit to mm -hmm. decide the final strategy. It, mm -hmm. it, is it it will be uh, will it be appropriate for this case? Do you, how do you think, Campus? Personally, uh, I prefer to do make it uh, that. Information, very important information is we have to see the careful bidirectional image. And the distal retrograde image, uh, many cases are showing the uh, well to well distal landing zone. There is a clue, clue from the retro injection. And second one is a uh, uh, diffuse plug less than 30% of the injury period, the IBUS maybe we can do the landing. However, diffuse negative remodeling or atrophic area, sometimes it's difficult to identify even with the image ID. So in the case, I prefer uh, to do the see. low pressure balloon, less than mm -hmm. four, and maximally six okay. atmosphere. Minus, minus, then minus, minus. nicely expand. <laughs> There's a plug button clinically not prominent. Uh, if you cannot see the clear balloon margin, you have to, anyway, the inflate balloon more higher pressure. Okay. In the okay. case, uh, okay. there must be uh, Stenting will be needed. Yeah, so low so pressure balloon come down and the cold is stenting. Then many cases we are uh, good distal reference at the six months balloon. So low pressure balloon technique. Well, personal I prefer to make the shorter stenting than the longer entire metal jacket. Six. Six. It's a three point five stent. Two point two point five. Yeah. 2.5? Okay. So uh, maybe the distal landing zone is small, small 2.3, so I wanted to make the larger balloon dilatation. Go. Sorry, did you say 2.5? Yeah. Yeah, 16. Okay. 16. Okay, the pull. 2.8. Because the proximal west diameter was some force. I know, I know, I know. You know, and, uh, Go. and the RCA doesn't taper 16. normally, okay, so I'm a little bit surprised. Yeah, maybe 2.5, 7 or 3.0 is also possible. However, I don't want to make a dissection. Go. So maybe larger balloon dilatation All is right. maybe required. 16. OK. So one more time. 3.5? Yeah, 3.5 is yeah. OK. It's a big vessel. Yeah, so w what stent is it? Is? Giants. Giants. Dr. Pilongi, you, uh, I saw that the paper you published, the full metal jacket greater than 60 millimeter in the CTO. Right? The distal luminal narrowing was an independent predictor for the uh, future yeah. event. So, 
clearer in the district provision uh, must be very important yeah. in every city. So, so it makes sense that uh, the distal disease or distal perfusion status affects the proximal event. But at that paper, I did not differentiate whether that was a shrinkage or a disease segment. It was uh, uh, the distal narrowing was um, uh, defined as 50% uh, or more uh, narrowing uh, at the starting from the distal stenting edge uh, toward uh, the distal uh, for a length of more than 20 millimeters. So that was the definition of that paper. So I think. Um, uh, if you can just differentiate uh, prominent shrinkage vessel and the disease vessel, the, the outcome will be different. But at that paper, that, uh, that was not pe uh, possible. Uh, and um, one more thing to say is that um, uh, most of the events uh, occurred at the distal edge or the segment uh, of the, uh, of the uh, stented area when there was a, a diffuse narrowing at the distal. So, uh, I personally, I think that it, it, it is still a marker of a, a complexity of the plot burden rather than uh, a shrinkage. So what size is this? 3.5. So probably you have to postulate a little bit uh, 2.5 stent, uh, not to make a quercetin or something, you know? Okay. Yeah. With a bigger balloon. Okay. Oh, okay. now it's working. Yeah. Which, uh, which science is it? 3.5. No, but which one? It's a like science uh, alpine yeah, or pro? Sierra. Sierra, okay. Okay. Sierra. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So yeah. maybe at this moment I want to remove the side branch wire. Yeah. How about? Yeah. yeah, I would also remove yeah. it. Oh, yeah, I'm patient. Okay, just a moment. Yeah. Yeah. One more check, one more time check. Okay? Yeah. Okay, over there? Yeah. Okay, over there. You feel the distance? Yeah, a little bit more on the best. Come back, just a moment. Do you want so maybe uh, the tie is sometimes a problem like this. Okay? Yes, okay. okay. So some other advance want to make the sum. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 12, 14, 16. 16. Okay. <coughs> Store deplete. Store. Okay. So I wanted to push the stem balloon to make the stem optimization in this part of the RCA. Okay, go. 16. Okay, 16. Okay. Just a moment. Yeah. Go, 16. 16. Okay. Okay. So maybe stand carry engagement adjustment. Okay. Deeply. No. 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 Okay. Deeply. Okay. So I want to check the with the stand balloon and final stand size and length. Okay. And geography. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go. Uh, maybe uh, this is 38. 33? 33. 4.0. Yeah. 4.0. 33. Okay. So AL1 is sometimes made, made some difficulty to adjust them to understand precise location of the stand in the RCA ostial area, so technical challenging. So at this moment, can change with the jerking catheter. However, I don't like to take the troubleshooting, just to do it. Okay. Okay. 
little bit. 조금 더 들어가요. 잠시만요. 좀더 들어가는 게 okay. 나아요. 네, okay. Just one more time, 네. please. Yeah, like. <웃음> 조금 이게. The guide. Yeah, another, another projection is very important in spider view. Okay. Maybe guiding is. Yeah, the guide. Floating. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. okay. just one more time, please. Go. How about? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Not bad. Not bad? Oh. <웃음> perfect. Go. I think perfect. Go. Go, go. <웃음> Zero point five millimeter should 12. be out. Okay. 10, 12, 14. 14. Okay, 16. 16. People. So still you're going to have to do a lot bigger balloon at the distal. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I wanted to remove. That's one of our concerns. We have concern. chance, to, chance to make the stand this deformity. So be cautious always the air one guiding system. So, um, could you, give me the, you huh? I, I heard that you recently uh, analyzed the IVUS data of uh, Los yeah. Medical Center, and there you, you made a cutoff for um, for future event yeah. in terms of the so MSA. What is it? Our team also analyzed our IVUS finding the around the 1,000 case. Among them, the more than IVUS. 700 case can be IVUS. analyzable. The post stenting IVUS finding. So, as you, maybe in uh, next session. My colleague is uh, report to the that finding a uh, little bit the uh, uh, stand cross section area to prevent the future event. 4.9 millimeter scale is the uh, cut up value for stand optimization in our finding. So um, the cut off, uh, I would rather emphasize the value of cut, okay. cut off. But emphasize the, the, the what, how important the uh, PCI oh, yeah. optimization a is. A little yeah. bit bigger than before, yeah, and this is a PDA branch coming in. And the stem was placed very nice. Well, we started transition. Just okay. yeah. so and so the vessel become much bigger. Edge portion is. Uh, yeah. We also analyzed the edge portion. Plug burden this time is forty eight percent. Proximal plug burden is the fifty three percent. Is uh, uh, predictable edge resistance system. So, uh, I think the most uh, good landing zone is less than plug burden of 50% and the stand cross section is more than 4.9 is the good thing to make a good result. To make a stand cross section area more than 4.9, you need the stand diameter more than 2.5, is it right? Okay. Yeah. So, I remove the quickly and then we check the final albus. To save time, okay. Okay, you you have to further optimize the results. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you did a good job. Uh, we'll okay, move to the uh, the other room, Dr. Warner, and uh, we'll see you at uh, afternoon live. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Warner, we're online. Okay. So while oh. I'm just well, You're bring you up to date. No, yeah, not really. Mm. So where did we leave you? Um, Let me get the you through. Yeah. This is, yes. we left uh, here. Yeah. Right. So where we tried a little bit, and we realized that this one branch doesn't really work. But I tried the distal branch, and you see the wire takes a funny course. This is not the distal branch. This is a side branch of the distal branch. But the wire is reaching the distal target. Yeah. So actually, that was the SUO3. Hmm. This is impossible, of course, to follow with a microcatheter. But it's a marker. It's a great but it's marker. a marker. Okay. So we have a wonderful cool. marker here now. And what we did was, uh, I, I tried, of course, the caravel a little bit, but I left it uh, in the position. And went then with a uh, fine cross instead of the Sasuke. Fine cross went quite nicely. And then I worked with the Gaia 3. That is the ideal situation, I think trying to get uh, through. You see that we are, well, 
dabbling around a little bit, but at one point I got into the side branch. Let okay. me see, where is the storage? Okay. At one point I got in the side branch here. Not yet. Yeah, almost. These are all fluoro sequences, but I can't see how long the sequence runs. Okay, still running for a few, so we can stay there. Probably that is the position where I achieved the side branch access. It's a long story. But as we bored you with the parallel wiring, so let's at least uh, do some pseudo life here. This is a confiance, right? No, it's a Gaia 3 now. Gaia 3. Because for this uh, target targeting, I, I, I prefer the Gaia. So it's still not looking very good, Next but time. we have a lot of storage here. <laughs> so I went back. So now the retreat cadaver cannot advance. Now we are in the side branch, yeah? Looks great. So I, I did some uh, uh, rotational confirmation. Okay. So I was thinking of, you can think of many things here, getting the Sasuke down, but the easiest was trying to go back and now you are kind of in the real, close to the real anatomy and just slip it over a little bit. Still a little bit distant, but we got closer here. And we have a wonderful target. And uh, next. So now it felt quite good. Still resistance, we know it's a diffuse disease, a little bit too far up, but when you have a target, you can hit the target. And this now looks really overlapping. Next. So, and finally we were indeed in this side branch. And to make things a little bit short, so we put a trapping balloon, uh, an anchor balloon into the RV branch and dilated with a 2.0 balloon. And uh, I confirmed the position and right now we are in this situation that I try to get access to the bigger branch, distal, to kind of uh, start the di uh, dilatation process. This is one branch. Actually, I want to go to the upper one. It's always, but I'm content maybe with this one. Uh, do a, uh, Left side injection. Left side injection? Yeah. I don't know why. Actually, it should be easy to get to the upper branch. Sometimes easy things are not easy. <laughs> I don't want to destroy anything. I'm, I'm happy with this to do then Ivers because the stent certainly hasn't, uh, has to start somewhere earlier. What you realize by, without my doing, the wire, the retrograde wire came back. But uh, I want to, of course, uh, leave this position there. Uh, I'm pulling on the wrong catheter. So let's do an injection, so confirm that we didn't have any damage. Yes. Maybe in the ARIO. 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 Okay. Cranial. Cranial. Okay. So do an injection and then I remove this. Fluor. Uh, okay, that looks okay. Or? Yeah, you see the tiny, tiny channel <laughs> that we had there. So I removed this. Patient was always a little bit symptomatic. Now we uh, remove the... It's not the ideal wire position. I don't know why I don't get up there. <laughs> 
let's let's try it in this person projection there seem to be more branches than well um i think you did a great job and i i'm i'm sure that you're going to achieve a good good piece cto pci result in this session um dr warner we are out of time we have okay. a, a subsequent lecture here so i think we have to close this um live here uh yeah. thank you for your um uh, live demonstration it was very educational like good thank you thank you it was a pleasure Okay, now 1050 is scheduled to have three lectures. Uh, I would like to ask Dr. Muramas for the first lecture, Epicardial Channel News. Please, long time old friend. Thank you. So I'll talk about the Epicardial Channel use briefly. And uh, how to use the Epicardial Channel? The channel crossing why I recommend the SWOT 03 the child already use it, and uh, sometimes the Xion Black is the most sleepy one. And the epicardial journal variation is the uh, uh, most uh, popular one from the epical channel or atrial channel from diagonal. And how to cross, and, uh, so just best uh, the sharpening of the wire and the gentle manipulation is necessary. And uh, how to cross the micro the flexible small cassette I, I recommend for their use the fine cross. The most safe, the kissing wire techniques, so the previous general case is not, not try to the reverse car because the tiny channel is uh, all, uh, sometimes the break uh, easily. So at the time, the kissing wire technique is safer or randable technique. And right coronary CTO, the most frequent use is the atrial channel and the apical channel, and on the other one, et cetera. And LED CTO is the, the most often used is apical and from the diagonal in the other in the channels. So appropriate angiogram is very important. The, this is the appropriate one. And the, as you can see, the no panning and the whole base, we can, you can see that the right coronary first and the LED second, and you can see the CTO region clearly. The caudal view, you can see the septal, septal channels and the right coronary first, the left coronary the coming, coming through the uh, distal bed, you can see the CTO here. So the no panning, the dual injection, and the antigrade injection after collateral failing to the distal main vessels, and the collateral angiogram, the septo, and also epicardial channel. So this is the appropriate angiogram to show you the, the, the CTO picture, and not only the CTO picture, but also it is very important to how worth the, the collateral channel. And how to find it? This is a, looks like a septal channel. This is a right coronary CTO. And also, this case is a big uh, atrial channel. And uh, usually, you use the uh, spider view, but uh, sometimes it's quite difficult to see the angulation. At the time, I recommend you the, the cranial view. The cranial show you the very clearly the mid portion of the atrial channel has a very big bending. So quite difficult to overcome this uh, channel. So I gave up and searching the another channels. The the septal channel looks like uh, connected, however, carefully you can see the suck epicardial channel connected to the PD branch, the same as previous uh, Gerald case. So sometimes the distal suck connected, epicardial channel connected the PD branch, so you can carefully uh, check the angiography, sometimes you can find it. But the, in this channel, very, very small usually, so the necessary to the SO03, this is also SO03 and uh, uh, surfing techniques. And feeling the resistance is very important. The mid portion is al also at acute bending. And make uh, some uh, acute bending and finally pass. 
So this is a careful check angel, the version we are searching channel from the city of these vessels. And the consider appropriate direction is very important and powerful. Sometimes the guiding catheter injection that show you the clearly the tiny channel. The tip injection sometimes not enough and sometimes dangerous if the tip of the micro catheter which position is the small tiny uh, epical channel. And also the SO03 is uh, uh, much popular. So the how to overcome like this uh, tortuous uh, epical channel. So at the time, the micro catheter tip a little bit advanced, and uh, simultaneously the guide wire a little bit pull pull back and pull pull around the uh, push push micro catheter a little bit pull uh, guiding guide wire. So finally, you can overcome the stretch stretch to the uh, tortuous vessel. Not like this one. So a little bit, the, the little bit guide, guide, guide wire pull back and push micro catheter and stretch the two just uh, bending portion. So this is the, the also right coronary CTO, it's epicardial bending channels. This is the aerocranial, like this one. So at the time, doesn't work, the CO is doesn't work at first, and so so zero three and the caravel is the best uh, combination like this one. And of support by the caravel and sometimes should be should be necessary to confirm the guiding injection to show you the the vessel course. And uh, sometimes the guide wire pull pull back and the micro cassette push. The finally, the stretch to the very tortuous epical channel like this one, and to reach to the other side. And finally, uh, the case of the successful epical crossing from the atrial channel, which produces or succeed the CTO uh, suck. First of all, that this is a uh, in this case, the two vessel uh, CTO, and at the first, the failed uh, CTO by the septal branch to the right coronary artery. Also, the circumflex is a CTO, and trying to the integrate that in the failed and the retrograde, the septal can pass, but, but very tiny, and during the procedure, the septal was perforated, like this one. And it should be necessary to stop breathing using by the coil embolization and the septal channels. And the first proce procedure is a fail. During the, this procedure, a lady has a, some thrombosis in the middle portion here, and SD elevated. And so it should be necessary to put a stand to the LAD. So the, the first try is a very uh, failed, just only uh, failed uh, LAD. And so the second try, open the CT, CT, CX CTO and integratedly. And fortunately, can be done, successfully done. And the stage of the PCI was tried. The look at the uh, right coronary CTO and the LAD was the septal branch. It's a little bit weak because of the previous, previous procedure has a uh, coil embryo and the stenting. And on the other hand, from the sac, you can see the more developed channel from the epicardial sac. <coughs> so we have a chance to, the this septal is very weak cannot pass the suck. You can see the epicardial suck connected the PD branch. So this is a sometimes occur like this, uh, rapidly to can pass the epicardial suck channel to the other side. Not, not difficult. And uh, right coronary is a totally uh, occluded, but the reverse scut and the knuckle wire and the connected and finally put it in the stand. 
So this is in my conclusion. The recently the retrograde approach of the CTO PCI has a big impact for the failed anti grade approach. The apicado channel crossing is a key issue after failed septal channel crossing. Reading angiogram is a still a very important. And the sozero cesium black guy wire is a major truth for the apicado channel tracking. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. For the limited time, I'd like to ask the second present lecturer, Dr. Asakura, uh, regarding the septal channel use. Okay, thank you, Chairman. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the septal channel. Uh, when we use uh, septal channels, uh, continuous connection grade is a very important factor. Of course, CC2 is better than CC1, and CC1 is better than CC0. Our next factor is vessel tortuosity. Uh, in the left side slide, uh, this septal channel uh, is very straight. Uh, it's uh, easy to cross. However, uh, on the right side, uh, this septal channel uh, has strong tortuosity. It looks like corkscrew. Uh, in this situation, uh, channel crossing is uh, sometimes uh, difficult. And uh, the third factor is branching. Uh, on the left side, uh, this septal channel uh, has less branch. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this type uh, of septal channel has a lot of branches. It looks like uh, broom. Uh, in such situation, we sometimes experience difficulty. And uh, projection of angle is also very important. Uh, in this case, uh, I used this septal channel. This is our cranial view. But our cranial view is uh, this direction. Uh, regarding septal channel, uh, most tricky part is here. So this part is shortened uh, on our cranial view. So we should uh, look at the septal channel from this direction. Uh, it's uh, our caudal view. And this is our cranial view. And same septal channel, it's like this in the area caudal view. So uh, we should take uh, Shine Angio from this direction. And uh, using this projection angle, uh, I successfully crossed uh, this septal channel. And the next point is wire selection. Uh, straight septal channel, uh, we used to feed the FC. But nowadays, uh, most of the time, uh, I start with an SO03. And in terms of uh, torture septal channels, uh, I also use SO03. I will show you the case. <clears throat> Uh, in the retrograde approach, uh, we sometimes experience channel injury. Uh, this case has uh, RC occlusion. And this is final angio. As you can see, this septal channel is uh, ruptured. But uh, at the time, uh, I didn't do the hemostasis. And this is, uh, I'm sorry. This is three months for a pangeo. We can still uh, see the perforation. However, in this three months angio, perforation is disappeared. So, uh, septal is myocardium it uh, hemostasis uh, would be uh, accomplished by uh, compression. So, uh, generally speaking, uh, injury receptor channel is not so serious complications.
In this case, uh, proximal LED is occluded. Here is the CTO segment, and at that time, uh, I used this um, septal septal connection. Uh, actually, little good wire already uh, went into the proximal uh, two lumen. However, uh, Corsia Casita uh, did not uh, advance anymore. I, uh, at the time, I forcefully push uh, Corsia Cassita and I just took a look at uh, this point. However, just after Corsia Cassita uh, make damage. And this is a final result. We can see uh, the uh, perforation, but uh, contrast uh, is uh, disappeared. So uh, hematoma has some connection to right or left ventricle. Uh, at the time, I didn't do hemostasis as well, and clinical course was okay. But septal injury is not always safe. In this RCSCTO, I try to use this septal channel. The wire is almost okay but uh, tip of the wire uh, was not free. So uh, I gave up this septal channel. I moved to the PL branch. Very fortunately, uh, the wire successfully crossed this PL channel. However, during the procedure, uh, blood pressure uh, was decreased and finally, a patient developed to the shock state. So, uh, cardiac tamponade. Uh, we quickly do the cardiosynthesis. And this is the final result of the RCA. And then, uh, we checked left coronary system. Septal breathing was still seen. So around here, uh, septal injury may develop to be cardiac tamponade. So uh, I did coil embolization, and this is the final result. So uh, this is a summary. Uh, septal channel is still basic in retrograde approach. Uh, so 03 is feasible in my daily practice. Septal channel is not serious complication, but it is not always safe. Thank you very much for your attention.